Tomo News presents new materials to change the world. Scientists invent new artificial heart made of foam. Scientists at Cornell University have invented a new material called elastometric foam that can be used to create a working artificial heart. The artificial heart created by Cornell researchers is made of elastometric foam created using a 3D printed mold. The foam is very soft and porous, and its pores can be adjusted, which makes it possible to change the amount of liquid that flows through the material. When air or liquid is pumped through the foam, the foam can expand at different rates and can stretch to more than 600% of its length. If it were to be used to make a product for the market, the fact that the foam is cheap and malleable would also allow the product to be customized for individual patients. The material could also be used for soft robotics and prosthetic limbs, as well as implantable devices. Before it could be used for products on the market, the new foam would have to gain approval from the FDA. New water-absorbing concrete can prevent flash floods. A British company called Tarmac has invented a new kind of concrete that can absorb huge amounts of rainwater during storms. The new concrete, called Top Mix Permeable, allows the ground to absorb 36,000 millimeters of water per hour. Traditional concrete, by comparison, is usually permeable enough to allow a minimum of 300 millimeters of water to be absorbed by the ground per hour. Instead of being sand-based, Top Mix is made of no-finds concrete, tiny pieces of crushed granite packed together that better allow water to pass through. It comes in three designs, full infiltration, which sends water to the soil underneath, partial infiltration, which has a semi-permeable barrier that acts as a drainage system, and full attenuation, which uses a capture system to store water, allowing the water to be reused. Tarmac invented the new concrete to help prevent flash flooding in urban areas. This seriously sticky surgical glue is all thanks to a slug slime. A team of scientists have taken inspiration from slug mucus to create a new surgical sealant that can patch up wounds even on wet surfaces. Although readily available on the market, current surgical glues are often inflexible and can have difficulty sticking well to fluid-covered human tissue. They may even be toxic to cells. In engineering a more effective medical adhesive, Harvard University researchers look to the dusky Arion slug, whose glue-like mucus secretions are made of positively charged proteins in a tough matrix. The team's version uses a water-based material called hydrogel and has two layers, a matrix and an adhesive layer peppered with positively charged polymers. The polymer forms a bond with the negatively charged cells on the tissues while being held in place and kept flexible by the hydrogel. When tested on different organs, the glue stayed intact even when applied to the curved moving tissue of a beating pig's heart. Though being touted as the future of sutures, further testing is still required, so it could take years before this new bio-glue can finally heal human wounds. MIT researchers have developed a lightweight structure of tiny blocks that may revolutionize the assembly of large objects. The individual pieces are linked together like chainmail. They can be assembled and reassembled into different lattice structures. A complete structure is ten times stiffer than conventional lightweight materials. The pieces can be created in smaller facilities while still being assembled into much larger wings, fuselages and bridges. The structures are also much lighter than conventional materials. The lattice structure allows pressure to be distributed across the frame instead of being centered on one area. The lightweight material could potentially be used to make airplanes, spacecraft and even dikes and levees. Hypersonic travel is one step closer to reality. Researchers from Britain and China have developed a ceramic material that could be used as a coating for hypersonic planes, allowing them to withstand the extreme temperatures generated by flying at hypersonic speed. Objects traveling at hypersonic speed have to withstand surface temperatures of up to 3,000 degrees Celsius, which is enough to melt materials commonly used in current aircraft construction. The ablation-resistant carbide is made by densifying a carbon fiber preform using chemical vapor infiltration. The preform is a reaction melt that is infiltrated to create a carbide composite. It is then further densified by chemical vapor infiltration. 
The surface area of the carbide is comprised of up to 75% ceramic and 25% carbon, which is dense enough to act as a barrier to resist oxidation and extreme heat. Existing ultra-high temperature ceramics, such as zirconium carbide, is commercially used in tool bits for cutting tools. Researchers say the new carbide coating is 12 times more effective than existing ones. Boeing says commercial hypersonic jets will become a reality in the next decade or two, which will drastically cut down on current air travel times. Other companies such as Boom Technology and Lockheed Martin are also developing supersonic jets, which they hope will be in service within a decade. Scientists develop new clothing material to help skin stay cool. Scientists at Stanford University have developed a material that can help your skin stay cooler than if you wear conventional fabrics. Much of the heat that radiates off human skin is in the infrared zone of the electromagnetic spectrum. Cotton clothing is good at reflecting visible light, but only 1.5% of infrared waves can penetrate the material. This means body heat is mostly absorbed by the fabric or reflected back onto the skin. Meanwhile, infrared waves and most visible light are able to penetrate clothing made of polyethylene. Nanopolyethylene has pores that measure 50 to 1,000 nanometers across. The material allows infrared radiation from the body to pass through, while also reflecting 99% of visible light. Experiments show this material is able to keep the skin much cooler than cotton or polyethylene. The scientists are working on adding more colors, textures, and cloth-like characteristics to the material for it to be used in the textile industry. MIT develops beaver-inspired material for wetsuits to keep surfers warm. A team of researchers led by a graduate student at MIT were inspired by semi-aquatic mammals to develop an insulating material that could lead to a new kind of wetsuit. The researchers looked to nature for ways to design a wetsuit for surfers that was warmer but also lighter and thinner. The researchers focused on beavers and otters, which, like humans, lack the blubber that keep aquatic mammals like whales warm. The team fabricated fur-like pelts to study how beavers and sea otters stay warm while diving underwater. During the study, the team submerged the pelts in silicone oil to observe the formation of air pockets. They discovered that the fabricated pelts with denser fur that were plunged into water at higher speeds generally retained a thicker layer of air within their fur. The findings could one day be used to design furry wetsuits that could help keep humans warm in the water. Material made from sulfur and orange peel can clean mercury pollution. A team of Australian researchers may have found a cheap, sustainable way to solve the global problem of mercury contamination. Mercury pollution seeps into waterways and gets turned into methylmercury by organisms in the water. The toxic substance accumulates in the tissues of seafood and fish, with those at the top of the food chain containing potentially toxic levels. People are exposed to it mainly through eating fish. As a neurotoxin, methylmercury attacks the brain and nervous system, causing problems for the kidneys and developing fetuses. To combat this, researchers at Flinders University created a sulfur limonene polymer using two waste products, sulfur and citrus peel, to act as a mercury trap. The dark red material works by attracting mercury, which binds firmly to the polymer, turning it yellow in the process. With production costs relatively low, the non-toxic material may be used to coat pipes and as filters, or even in large-scale cleanup operations for heavily contaminated areas. A UK company has developed a new spray-on coating that makes ordinary pathways glow in the dark to replace street lighting in the future. The technology, called StarPath, can be applied over concrete, tarmac, wood, or other existing solid surfaces. Different materials will be applied to the path. First, a polyurethane base and aggregate, followed by a luminescent material and a polyaspartic top coat. The star path absorbs UV light during the day and releases it at night. It can also adapt to the natural lighting conditions of its surroundings. The coating is currently being trialled in Christ's Pieces, Cambridge Park in the UK. Injectable tissue patch helps repair damaged organs. Researchers at University of Toronto have developed an injectable tissue bandage that can repair damaged heart tissue without invasive surgery. 
The patch is made of a biocompatible, biodegradable polymer, which is seeded with real heart cells. The patch can be folded into a needle and then injected into the body without invasive surgery. Once it emerges from the needle, the patch unfolds itself into a bandage-like shape. It is designed to break down over time, leaving only the new tissue. The technology has successfully been implanted in rats and pigs, and researchers believe the technology could be applied to tissue regeneration techniques in the heart and liver if human trials are approved in the future. A new way to stay cool without using power. Researchers at the University of Colorado in Boulder have invented a special film that can cool buildings without using any power. The cooling film measures about 50 micrometers thick and consists of a transparent polymer, tiny glass beads, and a layer of silver coating. The silver coating reflects sunlight through the plastic, preventing it from heating up the building. The glass beads constantly emit infrared light and heat through a process called passive radiation cooling. The cooling effect is said to be able to keep the internal temperature of a home at 20 degrees Celsius, even when it's 37 degrees Celsius outside. Researchers at Stanford University demonstrated a similar device in 2014. However, their technique would reportedly be expensive to manufacture in bulk, whereas the film developed by the University of Colorado team can be produced for around 50 cents per square meter.